Android Activity Lifecycle. The activity and fragment classes contain a number of lifecycle methods which act as event handlers when the state of the N instance changes. The primary methods supported by Android Activity and Fragment classes are in this figure. So, the first part that we are going to talk about is the activity callbacks or activity lifecycle methods. Later on in this course, we will uh, introduce the same figure in the fragment section and learn about the fragment. If you want to learn Android app development, go to Udemy and search for Android. You will get my course as a bestseller course, the complete Android 12 developer course, Mastering Android. Click on it. You are, you're gonna learn how to build 60 apps from scratch with rating 4.4 and the bestseller. And this course is about 86 hours on video demand. Okay. Covering all the topics with 47 sections and about 40, 463 lectures at the, at the time of uh, recording this video. So we are expanding this course and we are adding new tutorials every week. So are you ready to become a professional developer with this course? Join now uh, fragment life cycle. Okay. So <clears throat> the first thing that we need to know that activity callback. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps as thousands of people did join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. It contains seven methods on create, on start, on resume, on pause, on stop, on destroy, and on restart. And they are configured and they are ordered in the same order of this, uh, this diagram. So the first one is on create. The method that is called when the activity is first created and the ideal location for most initialization tasks to be performed. And we have worked with this method in when we learn about the widgets and how to initialize and declare the widgets. The method is passed the onCreate method is passed an argument in the form of a bundle object that may contain dynamic state information, typically relating to the state of the user interface from a prior invocation of the activity. And we will learn about saving the uh, state in later in this course. So the first one is called onCreate when the, uh, the when the user click on the app uh, icon and start it. The second one is on restart. On restart called when the activity is about to restart after having previously been stopped by the runtime system. Then the on start. On start always called immediately after the call to the on create or on restart method. This method indicates to the activity that it is about to become visible to the user. This call will be followed by a call to on resume if the activity moves to the top of the activity stack or on stop method in the event that it is pushed down the stack by another activity. So on start method will be Act, it will be displaying something to the user so it will become visible. The on resume indicates that the activity is now at the top of the activity stack and the activity in which the user is currently interacting. So now the activity on resume method indicating that the activity is in front of the user and directly uh, interacting with it. The onPose method 
indicates that the pre previous activity is about to become a foreground activity. This call will be followed by a call to either on resume or on stop method as the picture indicates. So the on, on stop method, depending on whether the activity moves back to the foreground or become invisible to the user, either when the user goes up and uh, and uh, get out from the app and then returning to the state of the, the same application the on resume will be triggered so steps may be taken within this method to store persistent state information not yet saved by the app to avoid delays in switching between activities time consuming operations such as storing data to a database or performing network operation should be avoided within this method. This method should all also ensure that any CPU intensive tasks such as animations are stopped. The unstop method. The activity is now no longer visible to the user. The two possible scenarios that may follow this call are a call to the on restart method in the event that the activity moves to the foreground again or on destroy method if the activity is being terminated the on destroy method the activity is about to be destroyed either voluntarily or because the activity has completed its task and has called the finish method or because the runtime is, is terminating it either to release the memory or due to configuration change such as the orientation of device changed. It is important to note that a call will not always be made on destroy when the activity is terminated. We will see this, uh, these methods in action in the next video while we create the the activity lifecycle app before we finish these methods let me talk about the dynamic state in addition to lifecycle method outlined above there are two methods intended specifically for saving and restoring the dynamic state of the inactivity the first one is on restore instance state and we will work with this method these methods these two methods when we talk about data persistence this method is called immediately after a call to on start method in the event that the activity is restarting from the previous invocation in which state was saved as with an create method this method is passed a bundle object containing the previous state method data. This method is typically used in situations where it makes more sense to restore a previous state after the initialization of the activity has been performed in on create method and on start method. This we will talk about it later on when the data in data persistence. On save instance state it called before an activity is destroyed so that the current dynamic state usually relating to the user interface can be saved the method is passed the bundle the bundle object into which the state should be saved and which is subse subsequently passed through an on create method and on restore instance state method when the activity is restarted this is a very important method on save instance state that we work with while retrieving the bundle and saving the state while orientation uh, configuration have been changed. Note that this method is only called in situations where the runtime ascertains that time need to be.